Hello and welcome to The One Show with Adrian Child. And Christine Blakely. With us in the blue corner. This <laughs> and in the green corner, former feather. A great lineup of guests. We're sure you'll agree, but I fear they will be upstaged, as even the great Michael Palin was last night by our three orphaned otters. Yes, everyone loved our otters. Well, I say everyone, but Alistair Boyd in Argyle isn't so keen. He's made a number of very serious allegations against otters in connection with the disappearance of koi carp from his pond. Well, it was nothing to do with Splish, Splash or Splosh, who, as Ellie Harrison's going to tell us, are still a long way from being able to catch their own supper. Oh, how cute are they? They are certainly Aren't cute. Aren't they? Well, tomorrow we'll see the biggest day so far in the lives of Splish, Splash and Splosh as they're released into the wild. My daughter, a pet otter, I'm sure. Would you like to see a picture of a badger? Oh, cute no. badger, not as cute as the otter. No, no it's not. It's so good to have. It oozes <laughs> just from it. You just get some on my nerves. I mean, how much success can one man enjoy? Oh, my God. Do you have shoulder pads in there? Yeah, I had shoulder pads in there. <laughs> my uncle said... It's there, Barry, I must say. Indeed, yes. But your dad you set these schemes up. It all sounds a bit complicated, really. It's not. Hi, Kelly. Good to see you. What it's are your Dame Kelly Holmes? Think about this. Women in the boxing ring. Oh, it's Shout for the 2012 Olympics in this country. Sorry today. Well, Barry, your view on this as well. The two of our top junior tennis players have been suspended. That's the fellow. Do you yeah. take? Do you take omega three? Exactly. I mean, what are the benefits? That's the <laughs> thing <on to> that. <laughs> uh, But what I would like about Thank them, you very Kelly much indeed. Lovely to have you all here. <laughs> a real pleasure. Say, bye. <laughs> <laughs> fans, like fans like that. That. We, we haven't got we haven't got represent <laughs> well, you can't have afternoon no, tea. The practice makes perfect. Yeah. So we, we, thank you. But just classically, that means you don't spend much, you save more. But for entering into your mind, or was it a case of well, I mightn't be here? Then Palin and Blakely all rolled into one. Were they cute or what? Very cute. So, I just want to take one hard hearted, hearted, but even she. <laughs> She was softened by the sight oh, of those lovely. things. Uh, here's another cutie, John Summers. <laughs> yeah. There was another story to be so modern. Quite tough for someone like Tim. Well, I think it, it probably won't be, to be honest. So I, I think he's ready for because it. Because he's had so many near misses, he's become almost a byword for ineptitude, was it? What was that 5%? Well, you know, I think he was... He'll be... <laughs> he'll be a... Our favourite vet is here, Joe Ingalls. Superman of tortoises. And people think of tortoises as really slow moving, but I've seen them on the... James, we hear you. You will certainly enjoy this item. It's the Sunrise Home in Edge Bassinadis. You know, all my life I've dreaded going at growing old, but not anymore. Yeah. I am booking myself into that place. <laughs> it looks an absolute flaming ball. Cool. It's a cool place to go, Brilliant. isn't it? Yeah. Thanks very much indeed to them. Keep up the good work. I'll come for a game of tennis with you when I'm next uh, in the second city. <laughs> Our one show street barber, Michael Douglas, has been out and about again, trying to make this country a little more glamorous. Or at least a little less hideous. Today, Glasgow gets a going over. He can be attractive as well to women. I, I can understand why women fancy him, yeah, and I think he's drawn... I thought he was Spanish. She wouldn't have got very far with him. I know that was <laughs> a, a portrait more than his beauty, isn't it? Yeah, no, I mean, he... he but once he was asked if I played out a bad game or something, he, he didn't... He... About football. I'm worried about bird flu. And I'm not... Well, he was unpredictable. And he's very photogenic. And also, the other thing that was very different about him, he looked different. Yeah, but he was a bit of a come home. But I'm taking it back to the ladies. Plus, <laughs> ladies are fit and important. Wrap this up pretty soon. <laughs> well, obviously, look, you know, make that point clear. So, other tips then for. Uh... There's a fairly new system out now, and you'll save about 30% a year on your policy. Well, watching that intently was none other than oh. Nicholas Parsons, who, apart from the time, was an engineer at Clydebank. Yeah. Extraordinary. Oh, that was steady. That's a lot of you. <laughs> of you without wishing to age you, you saw... Our firm, Drazos, is next door to Brands, and so they silently, too. Uh -huh. And what they... Yeah, from the late 60s. Have a look mm. at this, Nicholas. And, Nicholas, you entertained audiences on the QE2. And um, I went worked on a lot of cruise ships recently. <laughs> and, no, there's this sense of cats in at night. No, I'll let the cats out. Cats. No, I haven't got cats. I mean, we had them in my... Very much indeed for uh, painful business, getting down to these ludicrous... Recommending it then at I all. do not recommend the course make you more shapely. What Suit so, this next dress, being an... Hi. <laughs> Hello and welcome to The One Show with Christine Blakely. And Adrian Childs and one of the country's best-loved actors, it's James Nesbitt. Until they can become a character like this, mm. but... 
correct? Yes. As, you're 91 now. Is yes. anybody in that time, say when you were 60, for example, did anyone tell you to stop working? It was time for you to hang up your wooden spoon <laughs> or something? Normal. I mean, Marguerite, I think if that's the case. A lab in the States where they uh, take into consideration uh, profile, bone structure, hair type, etc., and generate what they say is a fairly accurate representation of what we will look like, us three at Marguerite. Uh, we'll start with um, James Nesbitt, Phil Tuffle, and Marguerite there at the Imperial War. Fact, apparently, Marguerite. <laughs> James, I couldn't imagine you getting a kebab and going home and an all. The important thing, you're judging a good. That look in his eye. Let's have a look at Marguerite on the box um, many years ago, long before uh, James or any of us have been anywhere near a television. Let's, let's have a look at Marguerite in action. Well, Marguerite <laughs> is going to make one for us, so yes. uh, thanks very much for that. Thank we look you, forward Marguerite. to trying. We'll let her crack on there, but while she does that, we can catch up with the one show's sexy scissor man, Michael Douglas. He has been on a razor sharp mission to sort out the nation's dodgy haircuts. He's tackled uneven fringes in Glasgow, tangled knots in Belfast, and a split end issue in Manchester. Nasty one that. Tonight, Newcastle gets a Michael makeover. <laughs> <laughs>